And my ass hurt. And my hands hurt. And my ears are ringing. Do I have an apple? I might have an apple. A whisper of breeze. Eh. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, clearly I don't know where I'm going. My cooking segment. Voila. Super amazing. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we're back in Mari, getting fuel, we're heading up north to Mount Dale along the Unadatta. Okay, so we're getting on the Unadatta to, oh, Unadatta, fucking e-plug is falling out of my ear, so it's like the loudest noise you could ever think of. Anyway, I'll fix that. Okay, it's all sorted now, go back on the road. Ah, it's a long straight road this bit. So this is what I'm riding behind until the wind changes. I'm sort of going at a snail's pace because we turned the corner. I could have passed them, but then we turned the corner and I can't see nothing. So I can't get past this person because they're right in the middle of the road. Like right back bang in the road. So it's really hard to get past them. Back at Lake Eyre. There's no water in it yet. All the water's up north. It's moving down slowly. It looks like water's in there, but it's a mirage. Um, yeah, you'd have to walk about 500 k's north to get the water, I think. Around that much. But yeah, it's still pretty pretty. I carry on. It's lots of people out today, which kind of makes it fun, but also a little bit dangerous because no one has their headlights on, they just assume that you're going to get out of the way, they're right in the middle of the road. Um, yeah, they, they slow down a little bit, but they're just sitting right in the middle of the road. It's a really big road. Um, I don't know, and no headlights on, they're sitting behind other cars that are like throwing up so much dust. So if they had their headlights on, you could see them a lot easier. But um, yeah, just be careful on the Unidata because I don't know, people just don't think they need their headlights on. I'm flashing people, I think they're just like, what the shit you doing flashing me? But uh, yeah, it's, it's not too hard to ride on, I guess, if you're not really used to ride it on, riding on corrugated roads. It is all rutted, like from the big caravans and stuff. So when you go on quick, all this stuff, you, it's very slight, you slide around everywhere. But because it's sandy, you sort of, you can just push it out of the way. But it's definitely corrugated as you can see. Um, but yeah, if you go on quick, uh, I've been sitting on about 110, 120. Um, it seems to be fine. Um, the cars seem to be sitting on like 80. So you can overtake them once the dust dies down. Um, and just try to get past them with the dust. We've got plenty of fuel, so we'll make it to William Creek, I think it was. Uh, if not, then it done Okay, we're at Unadatta. I come from Mari. Mari. Um, I'm s hopefully going to Mount Dare. So, Unadatta to Mount Dare in one day. Met some cool people. I think there might be a chip on my camera. Um, but yeah, it's pink. It is what it says in the description. Does it say pink roadhouse? I think somewhere. Um, yeah, so I'll be off in a second. Struggling to get back on my bike because I'm a little tired. I just had some food, coffee, and coffee's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's pretty quiet here. Just lots of flies, as per usual. Um, yeah, my GoPro went flat, so I didn't get some of the road back there, but that's okay. Um, yeah, okay, Mount Dare, baby. Mount Dare, we can do it. 
it's like 200 k's to go and then 400 k's tomorrow so yeah we'll get there Bye. so somehow <laughs> so somehow i missed the turn off to mount there um and ended up in mala um i was really focused on my bike because it was overheating the temperature light kept coming on so i had to keep checking that and just riding for that but somehow i missed the turn off i don't know what the fuck and then i was like this doesn't look right the sun's in my eyes the whole time i should be heading north and then i realized huh maybe i should check the map so i checked the map and then i was about 5k's out of mala yeah don't ride dumb um yeah i was just really focusing on the bike and um not thinking to check the map for some reason i was like this road looks different to where i was should be windy soon but um didn't get whiny windy so i guess we stay in mala and then just hit the freeway Special moments, eh? Morning. Last night I was setting up my stuff. Where those four drives are. And then they came in and just decided to put their stuff right next to mine, which was really weird because there is so much camping area. Um, yeah. It was weird, so I ended up moving over here, and then, yeah, but I met these nice Swiss people that have been traveling around for two years on their motorbike. So the guys, the guys were thinking about getting WR250s, the Swiss people, so I'm going to let them ride my bike today, once we're all packed up and see what to think but she was getting hot yesterday she does not like the desert and had to stop at least 20 times I don't know I'll take a new radiator Woo. maybe there's a blockage or something I don't know, check it now if it's got water in it Fingers crossed. What do you think, Martin? Yes. A lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty <laughs> so good. So much lighter than mine. Oh my god. Um, She's gonna buy one. I'm gonna buy one. You it's can, so much fun. It's can so you light. put the weight on? Please. Yamaha, give us stuff. Yes. Please. Please. All of us. Swiss want, people and Australian people. Give us stuff. We want three WR250s. <laughs> or whatever you want to give us. <laughs> I'll take your first sticker. Just last day on the bike. Just got to get some fuel. Get some water. Then we're on the road. We've got 450 boring k's of freeway. Um, yeah, should be pretty cool. Or pretty chill. Um, don't take it easy. I did find on the um, radiator cap that the rubber had moved and was like um, just off where it should be. So hopefully now it won't get hot so I'm feeling that I don't know how maybe I just put the, the cap on a bit too aggressively at one stage but um it seemed to be fine until yesterday afternoon um, but yeah got to meet some lovely Swiss people and had dinner with them and a few beers and stuff they're off to Sydney and then off to Africa so it's pretty awesome um, have everything, make sure they didn't leave anything. Nah, they've got everything good. Um, so yeah, it's just been a sick trip so far. So we're at Caltex in Mala. Mala. Um, so just get some fuel, get on the road, get some fuel, get some water. 
Well, they're close. Okay, so one of the bolts is coming out of my visor and literally the visor got caught by the wind and acted like a sail and nearly tore my fucking head off. So I decided to take the bolts off the visor and take the visor off because it's fucking super dangerous. So I just took the visor off. It nearly pulled my head off. Going 110, 120, and it was fine. It was flapping around a little bit, and then it was just insanely fast. Hopefully the chain's just loose, but it seems extremely loose for um, from what it was this morning, because that's fucked. What the fuck is going on? I mean, what is going on? What could it be? I don't think it is anything good. Ba 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 ba. It maybe it's just loose. Which is weird, because, holy shit, that is insane. Let's just uh, tighten the chain and carry on. It must be, like, near its lifespan deadness. Deadness of chainness. Um, it must be so stretched by now. I think we just did 7,000 Ks. Six and a half, 7,000 Ks, maybe more. I didn't really... I haven't really been keeping an eye on it. A lot of bloody keys. A lot of bloody fuel. So, I get them in finger tight. Lovely, 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 lovely. The bolts are very hot. Hot, 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 hot. And you pop, little fellas. It was that bloody wheelie across the state line. So, I thought this was going to be an easy 450k sitting on the freeway. Just, bah. but... It seems to be quite eventful little moments. We're only done about 200 Ks of it, maybe. Well, this is fun, isn't it, for everyone? We're nearly home. Darling, oh, you excited to see me? Hey, 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 come here. Milk, milk, milk. Hey, girl. Oh, you're all clean. You're all clean. Huh? Oh, you're the sweetheart. Who's a lovely girl? Who's a good girl? Huh? Who's my baby? You got fat. Who's a fatty? You're a little fatty dog. <laughs> little fatty dog. Huh? You little fatty. What have you been doing? You little chunky. Hey, chunky. Hey Chunky! Oh, who's excited to see me? Who's excited? Yes, you are. Hi, right, milk. Done. Oh. Kenya. 